In the headlines, residents of Addis Ababa observed first year memorial of late Prime Minister Melote Nawi. St. Paul's Specialized Hospital launched Kidney Dialysis Center built at a cost of over 11 million per. A very warm welcome to the morning news from Ethiopian Television. I'm Rahel Taklehanis. Addis Ababa residents have commemorated first year memorial of let Ethiopian leader Mela Zenawi with a candlelight vigil. They have vowed to sustain the legacy of the former prime minister. Here are the reactions of some of the residents. <laughs> Much more is expected from the U.S. as they are the features of the country. They have to participate in the country's development in divorce in all possible ways. We need to work strongly to get the nation out of poverty as part of Mellis Initiative. I think we have to play a great role in the developmental activities of the country. Particularly, we women should take the front hand with strong commitment to maintain the vision of Meles. Because of Meles, we are living in a peaceful country and our children are learning. This is what makes different the current region from that of previous. The infrastructure development that are being carried out in the country are creating immense job opportunities and indeed, we are observing a dramatic change from the youth who have been engaged in the sector. So we should exert our effort in infrastructure development for our own and the country's benefit. The seedlings we have been planting this year are manifestations of our pledge to realize Melissa's vision of green development. The work is not finished. We have to continue in protecting the planted seeds. I have learned strength, commitment and dying for the benefits of one's own people and the country from Malas in ensuring the benefit of the nation and its citizens as well. We children should also walk on his footsteps. St. Paul's Specialized Hospital launched the first kidney dialysis center built at a cost of more than 11 million per. The new center is believed to save the lives of many that are suffering from kidney problem. Habib Mohammed has the story. St. Paul's Specialized Hospital opens the first kidney dialysis center in the country that will enable to increase and improve its life-saving activities for persons with a kidney problem. The center costs 11.5 million but are equipped with the latest medical facilities. The course includes a training of experts and six dialysis machines have also been installed at the hospital with the support of Egyptian Minister of Health. The previous kidney dialysis clinic at the St. Paul Hospital has so far been provided kidney treatment being supported by Egyptian experts from the Egyptian Institute of Urology and Nephrology. The new public kidney dialysis center has been inaugurated here on Wednesday at the premises of the St. Paul's Hospital. The Ethiopian Health Minister Dr. Kassata Brunarmas on the inaugural ceremony said that the Ethiopian government has planned to expand the service to regional towns to save the lives of kidney patients. The, the sustainability and the continuity of this uh, service is in good hands uh, uh, at St. Paul. It, it's not like you know dumping some equipment, but it is transferring the skill and uh, building the capacity of uh, St. Paul. Egyptian ambassador to Ethiopia Mohammed Iri said that the Egyptian Minister of Health is keen to support the kidney treatment in Ethiopia in a sustainable way. First, the relation with Egypt and Ethiopia, we don't think that it is a only a narrow angle relation or it's only cannot limit it or summarize it only to one track or one angle but we believe that by virtue of the so many bonds and ties which come which bind together this one family is the egyptian family we have lots of history together we have lots of culture lots of religion lots of interests so this relation is a multi-dimensional multi-track and we are trying to at the embassy here to pursue it and activate it and enhance it on all those tracks. The ambassador also recalled that Egypt has also given support for the Black Land Specialized Hospital's cardiac center. 
Ethiopian Pharmaceuticals Fund and its supply agency announced it has allocated 2 billion per to strengthen HIV and AIDS treatment across the nation. The budget will be provided for 3,000 health stations across the country for the next two years. On a relevant meeting held in Adama Town, it is noted that 17 warehouses are being constructed in all regions with a view to ensure accessibility of basic drugs in health stations. The agency had distributed medicines and medical equipment valued at 5.6 billion per during the concluded budget year. Project and Grant Management Coordinator with the Federal HIV and AIDS Prevention and Control Office, Dr. Gaila Gessa said that 308,000 persons living with HIV and AIDS have benefited from the service provided in 870 health facilities in the country. The Ministry of Science and Technology discloses that it has registered encouraging results in the just concluded Ethiopian budget year in various sectors. The Ministry with its associate offices on Wednesday have evaluated their performance and discussed their plan for the 2013 and 14 fiscal year. Minister Demitu Hambisa said that the government is undertaking various activities to achieve the remaining sectoral tasks set in the GDP. She stressed that her ministry would focus on adapting technology that could change the lives of Ethiopians. The ministry has also expressed readiness to work with civil society and pertinent stakeholders in advancing innovations, research and technology transfer. Meanwhile, participants from higher education and research institutions, industry and civil societies have deliberated on a, a draft innovation policy. Dredawa City Administration con conducted soil and water conservation on more than 10 hectares of degraded land over the past two years. Agriculture, Water, Mines and Energy Bureau of the city said in addition to increasing agricultural productivity, the conservation has eased flooding threat in the city. The administration is jointly working with relevant partners in implementing integrated natural resources conservation in the city. As part of the move, planting of tree seedlings is being carried out by different sections of the society. We learned that residents of the city have planted more than one million tree seedlings in memory of the late Prime Minister Mela Zenawi, who had been the architect of Ethiopia's green economic development. And finally, Somali Foreign Minister Fawzia Yusuf left to China for an official visit, the first by a senior official of the current government. The foreign minister was accompanied by the State Minister for Interior and National Security, Deputy Minister for Reconstruction and other high-ranking officials. The Somali foreign ministry said the delegation would be meeting various Chinese officials to discuss ways to further bilateral ties and cooperation between the two countries. Officials say the visit is expected to pave the way for development projects to be built by Chinese companies and provide China with direct investment in the Somali's economy. That's all we had for this edition. Many thanks for staying with us. Have a nice day.